Good morning and welcome to day one of my vlog series here from London. So if you have just clicked on this video for the first time ever watching me then you maybe have to catch up a little bit but welcome to my channel. Today I have woke up at the Hampton by Hilton from my travel last night down from Glasgow to London City Airport and got a great sleep. Not long, just woke up to be fair as you can probably tell. And today I am going to check out an event that is at London XL, which is called the RGX event. Now, it's not the sole reason that I'm down here. That is one of the reasons, so I'm going to check that out. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's all about. So mainly I think it's about gaming and um, creation online. Obviously I'm doing that as well, but it's more to do with gaming and streaming, I think. So I know there's like TikTok there and there's cre other creators there and the other things going on, which is why I'm going to go and check it out. Don't know what's happening, but I'll bring it to you guys as as I go. Um, that's that, and there's a few other surprises that I've got up my sleeve as well, which I'm not going to tell you just yet. So you need to wait for those videos and see what's coming over the next couple of days. So today is Friday, the twenty third of September. So it is September weekend. Um, just now here at a bank holiday that we have here in the UK so it's Friday I'm going to be here today tomorrow Sunday and fly back up to Glasgow on Monday and that's it so I have already missed the breakfast slot because I've slept not slept in but I had to get a good sleep just I don't want to get up early and then keep chasing sleep over the weekend so I got a good sleep from my travel day yesterday if you haven't seen that video from yesterday then I'll link it down below and you can either watch it just now and come back to this video or you can watch it after this video if you wish. So anyway, I'm going to get out of the hotel, I'm going to go head over to London XL which is just a walk across the across the way, kind of across the road and I'll take you guys with me. So come and join me today as I check out what AGX has to offer and have a look at some other things. So who knows what's going to happen today, let's go and find out. So it's just after 11am and I think I may have called it RGX in that video, but in the intro, sorry, but yeah, it's EGX. And just to let you know, kind of schedule, so schedule today, gives you an idea. I'm not going to see everything, but this gives you an idea of the kind of areas and talks, kind of stages they have, sessions they have. Community hubs, the theatre, this life things as well. Seems like a lot going on all day. Ooh, ooh, even a moving night. But yeah, that is what's on today, Friday, 23rd of September. So let's get my bag on and head out the hotel. Bag is packed. If you haven't seen my video from last night, this is my amazing view of the car park and roundabout that I have. Time to go, time to leave. So I'm going to leave that key, I've got a spare key. But I'll take I'll take it out. I'll take it out. Let's go. So now outside, I'm going to just take a quick check over at the airport, maybe catch a airplane leaving, who knows. I'm going to have another look at the London City Airport which I arrived in last night and walked around this side. I've got the planes lined up. Look at this for a view. Look at all the planes lined up.
still find it amazing that there's an airport in this location. Such a great idea. Amazing. Look at that view as well down there. And boats. Look at the boats. So, I'm going to go this way now and head towards London XL. The London XL is getting a lot of construction works in the main car park area. I didn't know that until the other now, so it's been a wild goose chase trying to find how to get in. So I asked a nice gentleman at the gate, at the construction site, and I am now here. So I did say to the venue entrance, enjoy your event. So let's go up this scaffolding. Super pass, all collected. Now let's go to EGX and see what it's all about. Let's go in.
all that was Nick and Cam. Nick and Cam, they're cool. I mean, I don't, I'm not into gaming, but the uh, presentation, the entertainment value is great. I'm going to continue on my quest just now, walk around. But I'm going to go get something to eat, so go get some breakfast. So something that we all are familiar in the social media world. TikTok, I've got a stand here, a stall. They've got the Gotham Knights bike. Very busy, very warm in there. I've managed to get out and away from all the craziness to here where it's quiet, just at the entrance. Got some water, got a sandwich, and just got to chill. It's very busy, as you can tell. I'm sweating. So, I'm not going to be too much longer in the EGX event, but I am going to get on that TikTok bike, the Batman bike. So, watered, fed, back to the show, let's go. I just came into the theatre, I have no idea what to expect, but we'll soon find out. Tim just go with the flow, I have no idea. I think I'm out of my depth. Let's be honest, I'm out of depth with this uh, gaming event, but I'm enjoying it, learning new things. So, yeah, let's see what it's got to offer. Try to get a juice out of my bag. Managing the player experience as a whole and ensuring that overall the game is relatively fair and balanced and uh, we maintain the integrity of that. In addition, we also actually look after all of the social platforms that we run from Discord, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, the multiplayer online role-playing game, bit of a mouthful, uh, that was developed and published by Jagex. It was first released in January of 2001, so it's been going for 20 years at this point, just over. We recently hit 300 million accounts created. And even just by walking around at EGX today, you can really get a feel for just how many people have played RuneScape at least one time in their life. That may also be because we brought quite literally half of the studio here today. So thanks everyone for showing up. <laughs> now as you can imagine, the game that's been going on for that long uh, has obviously been growing and it's accumulated by the community. It consists of players who have been here from the start for the last 20 years as well as those that may have just picked it up as recently as a week ago. So there's quite a lot of things that we have to balance as part of that. Essentially experiencing the decline in the player base. There was a lot of negative reception to some of the updates that had been brought out, and uh, one of those primarily being the evolution of combat. Now negativity is not unusual, especially for a game that has been out for so long, but this was something very different and something that we wanted to address. So what did we do? We officially announced a poll for the creation of Old School. We explained that essentially we'd found a backup of the game from 2007 that was located in the company's archives. I think the story is that there was a CD in a safe somewhere that someone just happened to cross and thought, can we do this? So, what did we do? We explained what we wanted to achieve by bringing Old School out, set out a bunch of goals, put together a poll, said what would happen if we got a certain amount of votes and left the rest for the players to decide. And lo and behold, as you can see on the screen here, we got nearly 450,000 people voting to say that they wanted to bring Old School back.
corner, far left hand side corner of the event. I'm not sure, obviously because this is not my thing, who that is, but it seems to be very popular. There is one game obviously I have heard of, it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They've got a very, 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 very big play area which you need to queue up for. Queue starts there. There's all the way around to get in. So, yeah, not too sure what it means, but you need to queue to get access to play. gaming tournament yeah find some to chill. so you've got all these tabletop games so card games I'm presuming it's not snap or oh, 21 but there are all these different card games that I have no idea there's a big area for it Well, I think I'm going to call it a day. I've just walked out of the main entrance when I walked in this morning to the event. You see behind me. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Just again, there's, there's a lot to cover and I want to take it all in. Just now it is 5pm. So, yeah. So, that's the end of the video. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.